since we're young, we just always play hockey everywhere we go. In summertime, I was shooting pucks and stick handling and just battling one on one. After the season, it was so competitive. Everyone wanted to be the best. Yeah, we have a stone wall behind the net, and every time we miss the net, some of it falls off. Also, our door is just next to the goal, so when we hit the post, it just smacks the door. Parents are not happy about it. Our mom, even if we had a bad game, was just gonna tell us, yeah, it was great. Our dad told us, like, one bad game doesn't make you a bad player. So it's just about positive things. So. First, they are like, yeah, you can play hockey, but also school, like, that's very important. They always support us and driving us every time to the game or training. And they just want that we are happy with everything what we do and love you know, to have them. It's a dream like to play together with your twin brother. Of course, you can't really control it. Whatever happens, happens. But we made it till now and it's great. So hopefully in the future we can play together. We just love to play hockey and I love to play with my brother. Like one really positive thing about being twins. You're always together and we understand each other pretty well, I think. We just spend every minute of our lives together. And it's normal that we know where he's going to be on the ice and just to talk to him after a game and just giving us feedback or if he doesn't feel well, like we can talk and we hang out so much together. I love him and on the power play there, so he's pretty strong. Yeah, I'm just a little quiet guy and he's a little bit louder. I think it's a good mix. Like every game, there's so many fans here. It's always a motivation why you play hockey. It got pretty loud when we scored the goal, so it's unreal. And also for our whole family to come, it's pretty amazing. And also for our friends, just brings everything closer, yeah.